Hello everyone, Homegrown Kicks here with another Tiny Toddler review. Now, you all are going to want to stick around for this one because I've got something extra special for you all today. But before we get into that, you already know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the Homegrown family. Go ahead and hit that notification bell as well so that you can be notified every time I drop another video like this. If you like what you saw in today's video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't like what you saw in today's video, I don't know why you wouldn't, but go ahead and hit that thumbs down. It's okay. I'm not for everybody, but I'm for somebody. Now, once all of that is said and done, get down in the comment section below and let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you want to see for future videos. Put all of that down in the comment section below. Now, getting into today's video, you've got an all black standard GS box with a Inboss Gold Jumpman logo on the lid. Flipping it around to the side, you've got a slightly smaller gold embossed logo there on the bottom. You've got a little bit of verbiage embossed in gold. And if you want to read that, go ahead and hit that pause button. Uh, and once you're done, go ahead and hit play. But flipping it over to the front and you have the label right here. Now, I know you noticed the damage on that box. And uh, this right here explains that damage. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it got opened at the postal service or if they just sent it out that way. But yeah, that's crazy. I, I know you were thinking the same thing. Now, getting into the label, it reads Jordan 6 Retro TD, TD standing for toddler. Getting over to the left, you've got the barcode. Next to that, you've got the colorway. It's black, electric green. In French, that's Noir Vert Electrique. Underneath that, you've got the sizing, which is a 4C. To the right of that, you've got what that size would be in European or Eastern European sizing. Underneath that, you got Jordan.com, and underneath that, you get the color code. Next to that, you get the manufacturer origin, and then next to that, you get the QR code. And if you don't know what the QR code is for by now, go back and check some of my other videos or scan it and find out. Above that, you get the gold, not so gold, Jumpman logo, and next to that, you get the pricing tag, and it's at the suggested USD of $60. Now let's get into the box, shall we? Flip the lid back, and there it is. That pesky jump man sticker. But we're not going to get into that. We're just going to sit it off to the side and continue on as usual. Now, this is a little different. You get a mold reduction sticker on the top of the lid. So I wonder what makes this a little bit different than the other shoes that uh, we have reviewed in previous videos. Let's find out shall we now getting the box out of the way and blam through the magic of the youtube and the magic of me you have here the toddler sizing retro air jordan 6 in the electric green colorway also known as the oregon duck sixes now before we get into a full review of this uh this cute little shoe i'm gonna bring in that surprise so let's move this one to the back back here and we'll get into that later for quality control comparisons. But uh, let's turn this one this way and let's get into the surprise that I promised. Bam, you have a grade school sizing for the uh, electric green sixes and you can see some of the differences right off the bat and we'll talk about that later. And bam you get the big adult sizes and you can really see some of the differences but let's get all this out of the way and talk about these little cuties which is why we're here today now talking about the lateral side and the materials wow these materials are really good this nubuck suede material is extremely soft and feels really good so um i'm pretty sure you can hear by my reaction these have to be some pretty good materials on the upper, which is probably why they put that mold reduction sticker in there because of the new buck suede material. Now, this diamond patch up here on the grade school sizing, it's a, a bit more of a bubble and it is more pronounced compared to this. This is just flat. This is flat suede new buck material, but with a diamond shaped stitching. And then on the adult sizes, it is extremely pronounced um, and if you want to see a little bit more of the differences go ahead and check out uh, my next video be on the lookout for my next video where I compare the um, adult sizes to the grade school sizes because 
to be honest with you all there are differences between all three of them which is pretty unusual but there are some differences now getting to the midsole you've got a black midsole here and then uh this is where it gets a little interesting and you'll find out why a little bit later but um here you get a bit of the outsole peeking up to the midsole with this white eggshell white colored paint material paint um and you get the same thing back here the outsole peeking up to the midsole with this eggshell or off-white paint it's it's got a little bit of gray in there as well and then you get a hit of electric green for this peak now what i mean when i said it's a little different is here on the uh gs or adult sizing you get electric green on this peak and I, I i'll bring one in so you can see bring one back i should say see right there how uh, you get that hit of electric green you don't get it here and uh, you get it here as well but you get it here so that's a little interesting i don't i don't know why they didn't put that there it, it i can't imagine it would cost anything to get that there but let's not dwell on it let's work our way to the front now to the front on the toe, you get that nice soft suede, soft suede material. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> um, but yes, it's a nice soft nubuck suede material. The laces, you get nice flat rope laces, and y'all know how much I love laces on toddler shoes. Y'all know how much I love laces on toddler shoes. On the Nike SBs, you get the bungee, and I don't like that. That's just not good. It's difficult to work with. So I'm glad to see laces per the usual. Now, the tongue. Let's talk about the tongue a little bit. This is a mesh um, nylon material. Now, the difference between this and the grade school adult sizing is just down here on the adult and grade school sizing is a mesh nylon material and up here where you see this uh electric green logo and the stitch jump man this part of the tongue is rubber on the larger sizes uh and you don't get this electric green jump man and you don't get the stitch jordan this is embossed on the larger sizes and this is just non-existent but this is a nice compromise um, it really does break up all of this black with this electric green and then the the shine to the tongue gives it a little something extra that I like I can't complain about now another thing that you might notice is missing if you're familiar with the sixes but if you're not let me go ahead and tell you is a lace lock on the larger sizes you get a lace lock but on the toddler sizes apparently you don't get a lace lock and I can understand why because little kids tend to do things like put those in their mouths or you know something bad that you just don't want to happen so would it have been nice to see a lace lock yes but is it necessary no absolutely not now flipping it around to the medial side and that's a little weird you get the standard jordan 6 look on the medial side and getting down to the midsole you get the black midsole and this is where i say it's weird they give you the peak here and you get the electric green peak here but they didn't do it here which leaves more questions but you know jordan brand things nike things we'll leave it at that but yes you get the standard jordan 6 on the medial side so let's flip it around to the back on the back you get this nice stitch jump man logo you get this nubuck suede spoiler or wing as they call it and uh, a puff print electric green strip now on the larger sizes this is rubber and the strip is embossed so that's another difference that uh you can see on this toddler size shoe now getting to the inside before we get to the outsole on the insole you've got an all black insole with a electric green jordan jump man there you get the sizing label on the back of the tongue and then as far as the thickness of the padding it's not very thick but jordan sixes the padding has never been thick to begin with so there's no problem it's pretty much the same on all sizes you don't get a lot of padding on the sixes it, it, it is what it is now getting down to the bottom 
you've got a pretty much all black bottom, but you get like the eggshell white uh, paint where normally on the larger sizes, this is a translucent milky color. So that's a little bit of a difference. I don't know why they don't do like the translucent for all of the taller shoes, but hey, you can't complain um because the toddlers won't they i don't even really think they understand the difference some i guess some do but not I, I don't know now um in the middle where the art support is you get this electric green jump man which is really nice and uh yeah that's about it now let's get into the comparison of both shoes for quality control purposes looking at the front it looks pretty good to me. What do y'all think? The tongue looks good. Looking at the lateral side. Let's see. The lateral side looks good, looks even. Looking at the medial side. The medial side looks good as well. And bring it around to the back. The back looks good. And I don't know if y'all remember my Flint 7 review for the toddler sizing. The cut for the emblem on the back was horrible horrible it was horrible and it just you know it was a it's a good shoe but it just took points off of it for me so to see everything being everything and, and checking out pretty good checking off all the boxes is a pleasant pleasant surprise for this video for today now let me know what you thought about these jordan 7 toddler sizing um in my opinion, it is a really good shoe to buy. Some questions here or there, but beyond all of that, like I always say, it is a toddler shoe. Um, they're not gonna complain, but this is a really good shoe to buy. If you're trying to add some style to the little one's collection, uh, or if you're just trying to share your passion with your kids, go ahead and buy these. Now, I will suggest that you buy some kind of protective sp uh, spray for the materials because they're just that darn good that you just need to protect them. I can't emphasize that enough. I can't let y'all go without saying nothing is impossible. Fight for everything you believe in. Don't let anything stand in your way and dream hungry. Let me know what you think about these down in the comment section below. Hit that like and uh, I'll catch you all later. Peace.